Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back to Bonjour Cuisine. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, this is Natasha. And on here, I share tons of delicious recipes, live topics, the gospel. And of course, I have this podcast that a lot of you are watching. And I'm here with another video for all of you out there who are dating. And this journey may not be easy for y'all. And that's why I'm here. A lot of you are watching the podcast and um, I'm hearing a lot from you ladies and of course the men are watching also because I do know that for us women to understand you guys out there we need to hear from you as well so you are welcome um, on the channel as well but of course this is mainly for the ladies um, I'm here to encourage you I'm here to speak life into your situation and I'm here to give you a little bit of wisdom that I have hoping that will make a difference in your life so today's um, topic is all about dating and proposing for those of you who are in your dating journey i am here to share a little bit of wisdom on that subject all right y'all so today's topic is about should you propose to your man should you propose should you go to the store buy a ring and bend down and propose to your man should you do that and i'm sure if you google it google will give you an answer of course um well this is 2024 you can do whatever that you like right and of course you're an adult you can do whatever that you like but this podcast today is for you ladies you know godly women out there and you're trying to do things the right way should you propose to your man um, so of course I'm gonna rely on Bible principles to give you these answers and for those of you who have been watching you know I'm not trying to um, sugarcoat the Bible or sugarcoat the truth just to get views or subscribers I'm gonna keep it clear short make it simple and easy to understand my advice is not to go ahead and try to propose to a man my advice is based on the godly principles that God created Adam before he created Eve meaning he created the man he created the man with the desire with the passion the burning sensation and all of that I don't even know what name to call it the love um, that's available for you so that means you know you don't have to do all of that <laughs> you know so to to feel like you have to force someone to be in a relationship to force someone to build a family with you i mean that's total desperation there is someone for you out there that will would want the same thing all right so i just pray that you find the right person and the right person finds you so that you can build something strong something that is so solid that you know you don't have to have doubt about it and of course you don't have to agree with me this is why we all have different mindset um, different beliefs but of course I'm gonna stick with the Bible so should you propose to your man um, when I search throughout the Bible y'all I don't see where one of these women godly women actually propose to a man actually it's the opposite right so if you go through Genesis chapter 24 you see where it says um, Abraham was getting old and usually I think that was the custom of the day if you're getting old and you're about to die your oldest servant most likely is the one the, mo the most trusted that you would ask to um, you know be in charge of things so we see in Genesis chapter 24 Abraham said to his servant, take an oath by putting your hand under my thigh. Swear by the Lord God of heaven and earth, you will not allow my son to take one of these local Canaanite women. Go instead in my homeland to my relatives and find a wife for my son Isaac. So you can see that he was very adamant about that. So right there, that tells you that um, we're not the one searching and proposing and doing all of that there's a bible verse in proverbs where it says he who finds a wife find a good thing so that means ladies you are the treasure you are the pearl that means god will send someone your way 
and you are supposed to be found by the one who will treat you right. We also see that in Genesis chapter 29, Jacob, I, I believe he worked a total of 14 years just to marry Rachel. So what is, um, what, what's up with that y'all? Because nowadays I see a lot of you are trying to do the proposal. You're trying to do so much. I think there's a place for all of us. I believe that he can propose to you if he truly really loves you. He will propose. If you're dating for seven years, 10 years, and he's not proposing, I think you should raise the question and ask him if you're the person for him. I would, I would be blunt and ask, do you see me as your wife? Do you see me as someone you want to um, you know, raise your children? Um, is, is there any reason why that you would not want to move forward? Now, it's not like you're putting pressure. Well, I guess that would be putting pressure on him. But at the same time, I, I believe if, if he's not proposing after a good three, four years and y'all been dating forever and he's not proposing, I would raise the question, like, what's the goal? When you're dating, the goal should be getting married one day right so if he's not proposing you should understand maybe you're not the right person is he there just to waste your time because a lot of time women you stay in this long-term relationship and then one day he just bounce right and then the next year guess what he's getting married to someone else and you're like, oh, he wasted my time, blah, blah, blah. But you, you, you never took the time to raise the question, to ask, what are we doing? What is the goal of this relationship? Is it for us just to pass the time, waste each other's time? What is the goal? I think you should have a goal. When you start to date someone, you should have a goal. You should make it clear that you're not trying to play game so that you're not wasting his time. Because at the end of the day, the man who truly loves you, uh, this is not even a question. He will propose. And if he doesn't, that's because there's an underlying issue that he's not addressing. Maybe he's not seeing you as the married type. Maybe he's not seeing you as the woman that he wants to spend the rest of his life with. And quite frankly, this, this is what it boils down to. I firmly believe that getting married is one of the biggest decisions that you can make for yourself. Because your life is going to either go up or down based on this big decision. And I don't think that's something that you should be taking lightly. I don't think you should be forcing a man to um, propose to you because at the end of the day, you kind of put him in a tough situation. If you go ahead and, and do something that he's supposed to be doing in the first place, he might feel like, okay, I can't, I can't say no to her. Should this be the norm for y'all to be the one proposing, for y'all to be the one asking the man in marriage everything that you need to know ladies everything that you need to know is right here in this bible so you know in our busyness we don't take the time to search scriptures i mean when it comes to marriage when it comes to um you know moving forward uh and and build a life with someone this should be easy as one two three that you both are on the same page you both want to uh, build a family together you just want to grow all together this is something that should not be forceful and i pray that you find that person that will not make you jump through hoops just to get a ring and i pray that um god will give you wisdom in this situation so you can know the right thing to do if you want to do things God's way, just stay in prayer and God will reveal things to you. And a lot of time God is revealing these things to you. It's because you are so blinded because you already make up your mind on the decision that you want to, to do. And quite frankly, no one can tell you otherwise. But I hope that you understand today that the person that truly loves you, you don't have to do all of that. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned right here on Bonjour Cuisine. And this is the Wise People United podcast. Also, my mission is to speak life into your situation.